Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new here, my name is Inkenna. I am responsible for everything that goes on here. As you guys can tell from the title of today's video, we are gonna be doing my December Ipsy Glam Bag Unbagging. I'm gonna preface this by saying, I think this might be my last glam bag. I might cancel it before the new year. I just, I don't know. We're gonna take a look and see, but I just haven't been super duper happy with what I've been getting in my glam bags. And you know, if you've been watching my channel for a while, you know that it goes in waves. Like I like it for a little bit and then it kind of like trails off and I'm like, eh. Um, so we're gonna see. So as always, it comes in this hot pink bubble wrap mailer. This month I did redeem a few of my points. I got this brush from Luxie Beauty. It is the 237 blending brush. And there's just to take a closer look, that's what it looks like. This month's bag is a metallic silver bag and the texture is that of faux leather. And then on the zipper tassel, it just says Ipsy. And then inside it's this very pretty emerald green color. This is what this month's information card looks like. This month let's clink glasses to a gear full of diving in, bearing all, and finding your light it's time to celebrate how far you come and then when you do open it up you do have all of the products that are featured in your glam bag for this month so this month I did go on their website and I was able to select one of my products which is something that I mentioned in previous videos it's something new that they're doing I did select the belief true cream moisturizing balm and I've tried their aqua balm and I really liked it so I figured it's from the same line so I figured I would just try it out and I'd probably like this product as well just giving you guys a closer look again this is the true cream moisturizing balm and it is supposed to be an everyday lightweight moisturizer that's made um, from comfrey leaf that hydrates, softens, and brightens your skin. And this, when you open it up, it's actually white. The Aqua Balm is this uh, blue type of color and it has the same texture as the Aqua Balm. It's very lightweight, very moisturizing. Um, it feels like I'm swishing around like a cream, ba like a gel, a water gel. And it does have like kind of an aloe scent to it. Next from Thrive Cosmetics, I have this liquid lash extension mascara in the shade Brin. And Brin is a rich black as it says on the tube. Also on the packaging, it says length and volume. So it's gonna add length and add volume to your lashes, which is something that I need because I have really, really curly uh, kind of sparse lashes. So that is something that's like my target. That's my goal for my lashes. And it says orchid stem cell complex. Don't know what that is, but if you do, that's what it has. And something of note on the package, not sure if you guys can see that very well, but it's showing a before, which is the bottom picture, and then an after the top picture of what the lashes look like with the mascara. So that's a pretty noticeable difference. It looks like, you know, a neutral look to smoky, a smoky eye. When you take it out, the actual mascara is in this teal color tube, and that is what the wand looks like. Very short bristles, like you really gotta get in there. And it says on the information card that with a single swipe, your lashes uh, look like extensions and tiny clump-free fibers coat each lash for instant volume. And then the orchid cell complex is supposed to boost growth over time and use. I don't wear makeup every day, but this is definitely something that I would I would potentially wear almost on a daily basis just to see if I really am getting those results because if you're making claims that it's going to help your lashes grow and then it does look like extensions, I'd be willing to wear this all day with a moisturizer on my face and actually just bring a little bit of life back to my face. Next up we have from Space Case Cosmetics. This is a blush and it's in the shade It's Not Me, It's My Sign. So once out of the packaging, this is what it looks like. And then swatched on my hand, it's a very dusty, dusty, rose type of color um it almost looks it looks pretty ashy on my hand if you guys can see it i have to hold that at an angle but that's what it looks like so those pale pink colors i really like to wear those in the summer and in the springtime um but it's not really showing up hmm so i don't know how this would work out with me like i'm conflicted i feel like it might work for me. I don't know. I feel I want to. I feel like I want to like it, so I'm trying to force it to work. But it looks pretty ashy. Like you almost can't even see it. So I don't want it to look like I just have like unmatched like translucent powder on my face instead of blush. Next, from Color Rain Cosmetics, we have this glow lighter in the shade Your Treat. You can never have enough highlighters. And this is actually my first time ever getting anything from Colored Grain um, outside of their lipsticks, but I purchased their lipsticks, but this is my first time ever getting anything from Colored Grain from Ipsy. So it's nice to see that they're branching out and including other brands into their glam bags. And it is black owned. So swatching it on my hand, you guys can see, that's it right there. And it's a really pretty highlight. Like I just did a 
one circle and then swiped it across so um definitely really beautiful and you you know you're it's going to be super pigmented you can build it up to be as dramatic or as subtle as you want but i really like that that's a really pretty color of course it's going to work well with my skin tone and this is in the shade your treat and then finally from glam up we have their firming pomegranate and refreshing peppermint sheet mask set so you get two sheet masks, which is really nice. So yeah, that is all that I have for you guys. I hope that you guys enjoyed this. I'll make sure to list all of the products mentioned in this video down in the description box below. If you guys enjoy seeing these Ipsy Glam Bag unboxings, unbaggings, let me know down below. Um, if you guys want to see a tutorial or a more in-depth first impression on any of these products, definitely let me know. Don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe, like the video, give it a thumbs up, and I'll catch you guys later. Bye.